everyone. I'm Allie with Potomac Beads. Hi, I'm Anna with Potomac Beads. <laughs> and we are going to do a little spotlight kind of showing you the progression of the Parpuka beads. Yeah, the Parpuka beads are all, des <laughs> all designed by all Puka. Designed by Puka. Um, who that's, is French. That's actually her first name. So. That's her first name. Yes, that is. So, um, so is it's Beads by Puka. Um, and this is, um, Allie threw these all at me and I put them in the best order. order that I could remember of them coming out. Um, so we have the Kiops here, these little triangle guys, and most of these are two hole. Um, and then we have the Arcos here, which are actually not two hole, they are three hole. And then we have the Minos, the Ios, 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 Ios. That so translation, that they're made in the Czech Republic, they're designed by somebody in France, so it's yeah. like that throw However you it say is. it, it doesn't matter if you like working with it. Yeah. That's all that matters, it's a right? Old, yeah, it's a brick. <laughs> um, and then the Amos, and then we have the Super Kiops here, which are like a 3D version of the pyramid original Kiops. version of the Kiops. Right, yeah, like a little pyramid. Yeah. Um, and then we have the Tinos, um, and then the Kos, and the Peros. Or Paros. Paros, Paros. So the deal with the, the Puka beads, again, they are designed by a French designer, Puka, and then they are manufactured in the Czech Republic. And the different beads, the idea is that they fit together really, really well. And they we do. strung them here, kind of how they were introduced. And you can see how that lineup is. Some of you may not even know some of these beads or may not even know that they are designed by Puka. We also, just to throw in some more fun, oh, yes, and this is the we have the one. latest one, which is the Paros bead as well. And they range, like Anna said, from two hole to... I think Most of them are two, two hole. The only one that's Minos. not is the Arcos and the Minos. And they are designed to go together. So, so I've, let's I've play. strung yeah, we're them. We're going to punch these back a little bit. Yeah. And you let's can see I've strung back. them together here. And there's a number of designs that use them together like that. So you've got that Minos oh, that fits each side. right in the center. Yeah. So the holes on these actually go through the center and then on each end so you can pick something up and connect that. So Puka actually had me do a number of her different tutorials that we have free on our website as YouTube videos. They are in French because she is French, so it makes complete <laughs> sense. But just to show the Muse necklace The diagrams here, are not in French, the just diagrams, the words. Yeah, just the words, so you're good with that. Um, but yeah, they're designed that they are very, there's thought put into the design and how they kind of progress. That's why we did it based on the way that they are. How they progress from one to another. The one that throws me off is that Peros at the end. Yeah. The, so, yeah, grab a I'll needle actually, and kind of, yeah, grab, Look how ooh, good I am. Good, I'm not even going to use the needle. Just, yeah, just go for it. My thread burner at the end there made a nice little, a nice, end. A nice end there. Yeah, so the hole on the Peros here... Um, it's a little funky, and I should have not gotten white thread. <laughs> I don't know. Black thread next I should have done needles. white thread. But they it's actually angle. at, yeah, it's at an angle. So let me do cool. some needles. This will be a little bit easier. Yeah, but you can see it's at an angle there. So it's, um, yeah, so they'll actually sit at, make like a little right angle there when you put them together. Oh, ah, cool. Yeah, so you could put mm -hmm. some individual beads with them, do some right angles. Yeah. And I know that the different beads, like we said, we don't always expect you to get every single bead. And it's a uh, lot of beads. It's a lot of, <laughs> it's beads. A lot of beads. And uh, Puka has been really aggressive mm -hmm. this last year in 2018. Um, we'll see what she's got in 2019 with Aggressive with the bead production. With the bead production. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, been a lot. <laughs> Most other companies have done um, mm -hmm. about one to two and I think even just in this year we go from the Amos all the way up and even the Super mm -hmm. Kiops I can't remember which year they came out yeah they're, they're like they're the mystery one in my, in yeah, my we'll memory there back to the computer. But, but I think we have five shapes mm -hmm. in the last like yeah in some six, six seven months yeah yeah one of the pairs. nice things is that they do come out or some of them have come out in pairs um, so that they fit together and you know which ones she had in mind to fit together when she designed yeah. them. Um, and I also so wanted cool. to take a second just to um, show people the difference between the Kiop and the Super Kiop. Um, I strung those next to each other so you can see. They have the same footprint, the same size, but if you just look at it from the side, you can see, I don't know how well that's turning up, but the um, Super Kiop is that pyramid, so it's like you take the center and just pull it up, yeah, and, and one one thing to mention too is that the holes on all of these are set 
at the same distance. Mm -hmm. All except for, I think, the last one. Well, the Arcos, because it has three, but then you throw right. in the new uh, Samo Speed, and that sits a little bit wider apart. But the rest of them, the holes fit, um, mm -hmm. and they're the exact same footprint as far as the holes, mm -hmm. so that way they go together. Mm -hmm. So, and the Minos is kind of a fun little bead, actually, that I found more uses for than I was originally thinking. Mm -hmm. So when you look at all the different um, beads par puka or by puka. Beautiful color selection Beautiful color. here. Thank, thank yeah. you. I picked those <laughs> off the wall in a lovely color selection. You can take your pick here. Yeah. Uh, but playing with them, you really do see how thought went into them and it wasn't just let's put a bead out there. Yeah. I mean, hopefully all thought goes into all beads. Um, right. But, but yeah, they definitely were made by a designer who actually exactly. uses them. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. tell that it's not just somebody in a production line that has a random piece of glass <laughs> that comes out of the thing. Let's it's like, put oh, some holes we're in this shape. This. Yeah, put some holes in that link and that, <laughs> then we'll get some hole shapes. But these are definitely thought out to be used mm -hmm. together, to be used in addition to one another. And check them out on our website. And uh, let us know too in the comments, which beads of them are your favorite. I actually think, and I haven't even used them yet, I like the teardrops. So I like the Amos. Mm -hmm. I feel like it has the most there, uses. They are similar to some other beads that um, we also the have out duo. in the store. Yeah, yeah there's a number They're of other things. basically a pointy but, drop duo. But we've actually had some fun um, mixing some different drop shapes together. Yeah. So even like the Vexolo, the drop duo, the rounded drop duo, and the Amos. Um, you can mix those shapes together to come up with some fun designs. Yeah. So and don't feel like you have to... To stick to yeah. just the, the one. And suggestion with all of these two, when you are looking at them, look at that uh, size. So when you're looking, say, on the Peros tube here, you're going to see that seven by four. Mm -hmm. Look at the size in the description of the beads and then think what you could use them in place of or use them in addition to. So you can look at some of the different designs by Puka and see mm -hmm. the different designs that would go along with that as well. So, yeah. So they're kind of a fun new bead, fun new design. Yep. And one one last thing that I wanted to mention um, is because they're all by Puka, it's all in that same collection or line of beads, you get the same colors. So yeah. it's easy so to Yeah, so that's important. We actually get people that ask mm -hmm. that question a lot. Is the pastel emerald the same mm -hmm. as the emerald in this designer or not design and this brand from that brand? Mm -hmm. When you're looking and you know that these are all Parpuka products, which we do list in the in kind of descriptions mm -hmm. online, you know that you're getting the same color. Yes. Which is important mm -hmm. because sometimes you are not because yeah. different manufacturers call different things like uh, Starman for theirs, they call it flax. We call it Aztec gold. So kind of, we need almost a chart for all of that. But yeah. Harpuka <laughs> products will be the same. Yes. Good mention. So that's kind of going to be all from us um, on those Puka products. So yeah, have fun designing with them. Um, I'm sure you will. You know, we just went over a whole bunch of reasons why you'll enjoy <laughs> designing with them. Um, so check them out online. Check yeah, them out. Yeah, and below, <laughs> if you want to, you can check out links to potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu if you want to get yourself any of the Parpuka beads. And then additionally, you can also subscribe, give us a little like, thumbs up mm -hmm. below the video here, and let us know which Puka products are your favorite, which ones you have, and which ones you're excited to use as well. Thanks so much for joining us, and until next time. Yep, we'll see That's you next it. time. Thanks.